All right, they're through. The second one. But that means the shotgun's really going to put the hurt on them now. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and we are on Alpha 19, build 169 Experimental. We play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you do, and if I entertain you, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much for subscribing. Really appreciate it. If you don't like this video, please consider leaving me a constructive comments and help me to improve. Okay, guys, it is Horde Night 28. Um, let's grab our money. I'm ready to go, by the way. Uh, but let's grab our money and go over to Trader Jen real quick and see if she has any learning elixir. Because I want to see... Um, I, I'm predicting that I'm going to get at least three levels tonight. And we might... If all goes well, we, we could even get four or... Dare I even say five? That would be fantastic. Hello, Hi there, Jen. What's ailing you? Um, do you have Learn an Elixir? If you did, it would probably be here, right? Well, not necessarily. Let's just look. I saw Learning Elixir on one of the gens. I just don't remember which gen it was. Okay, look in the secret stash. We don't have enough time to go to the other gen. No, it must have been the other gen. Okay, well, this is what it is. We've, uh, oh, this is actually a new inventory, I think. Yeah, because you reset on day 31. Lucky looters, I mean, not lucky looters, uh, nerdy glasses would be really nice to have about now, because that would also get us more XP. Got an awesome sauce. No. Sorry, but no I nerdies. Heard of a stim pack. All right. Well, I think we're we've done just pretty much all that we can do to get ready for horde night here. You know what? To let's park the bike over here so that way absolute worst case scenario we bail off the side and take off but here's the thing about that I have not experienced this for myself but supposedly in Alpha 19 here if you get on a vehicle um, or in a vehicle on Horde Night the game spawns boss buzzards in on you and uh there's also, I think there's also supposed to be a pretty major slowdown or some other type of debuff that you'll get if the zombies, you know, tag you on Horde Night. So, I mean, if that's true, then riding around on a vehicle at Horde Night's not necessarily <laughs> a viable solution. But, I mean, it's better than staying here and getting et if, you know, if, if it actually came down to that. Okay, so let's look at one other thing here. We got to go put all this other stuff in our inventory. Let's make sure you're fully loaded. You are, and you have 73. Magazine size 73. Okay, so we could make uh, 73 more rounds for this just in case uh, it actually shoots them all, but it's really only for buzzards. So... Uh, we want robotic turret ammo. So we'll make another magazine's worth of that in case, um, you know, we uh, end up needing it, so. All right, we should be good on food and water. Um, well, you know, probably wouldn't hurt to top that off. So let's just have one can of chicken ration. And we'll just do drink a normal water and that should be good. Put those things in there. We'll put this in there. That can go in there. Put this back down here. Okay, yeah. So, guys, I think we're ready. Uh, we are loaded for bear, man. Look at all the ammo I've got. <laughs> I've got um, several stacks of 7.62. 
Um, almost 900 rounds. Well, I do have 900 rounds of 9 mil with, with what's in the magazine. And I took the silencer off for Horde Knight and put a an, an full auto mod on our pistol. Um, and then, you know, we've got 600 uh, shotgun rounds and 1, 2, 3, 63 pipe bombs, a few Molotovs. We've got some medis medical supplies. We've got some repairing uh, material, crossbow with some burning arrows, flaming arrows. And yeah. Two big first aid kits in, in three stacks, 15 of the smaller ones. So we are about as prepared as we can possibly be. Let's take a look at our skills. We have one point, and um, I was I was um, pumping up perception. I'm, I'm thinking about, though, because I know we're going to get at least three points tonight. I'm thinking about actually putting um bumping agility up to three so that we can get gunslinger two and make our pistol just a little bit more effective so i think we're going to do that um and at some point guys we're going to find the desert vulture and that's going to be awesome i'm really looking forward to trying that thing out when the time comes now if we get cops that go down here and spit up at us that could not be good but the thing is, is, you know, the zombies hardly ever come down here on the, on the last three Horde Nights that we've done. They just don't seem to care about being down there. Um, so, you know, hopefully that's the case. Now, if we do have problems with that tonight, um, for the n next Horde Night, assuming we continue to use this base, I'll probably just patch this up because there's just not really a whole lot of point in having it here. But let's just see how it does tonight, and then we'll, you know, then we'll adjust as needed. So everything's upgraded to iron and reinforced concrete. Uh, wasn't able to get a, a crucible for, um, you know, for upgrading all these to steel. So I think, you know, I think it'll hold up okay as long as we, can, you know, can kill them uh, fast enough, which I'm pretty sure we will. Um, the shotgun can reach out and touch them all the way out to there. And so a shotgun's probably going to be our main weapon, but we'll just kind of see how things go. We are definitely able to use our pistol and our um, uh, our AKs if need be. And, of course, we have explosives, too. Okay, here it goes. start bunching up like that it's full auto mode okay let's um do one of these really quick and then let's go ahead and Oh, they broke through. All right, well, that's fine because now we're just going to do even more damage since they're closer to the shotgun. There's the first level. We haven't even gotten through the first hour of Horde Night, and we've already gotten another full level. Of course, uh, we already had a, few, a little bit of XP. I don't actually know how much we had, but... This is loud. <laughs> That's very loud. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely getting through faster. Okay, we better um, repair this real quick. All right. 
So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Come on up. Those doggone spiders get caught in there and then um, they're kind of hard to hit, at least with the, you know, with the gun they are. Looks like our junk turt took care of that buzzard. Oh, come on, get in there, man. Get all the way in there. There you go. How come that's not upgrading? Huh, I don't know. I wonder if I'm like hitting uh, their corpses or something. I can't quite fully upgrade the the block there. That junk turn is like really useful. I don't even have to really worry about the buzzards. Crap. Ouch. See, I threw that at full force too. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. All right, they're through. The second one. That means the shotgun's really going to put the hurt on him now. Everything okay up there? Yeah, looks like it. There's our next level. There's a cop. I was just thinking, I wonder why we don't have cops. Maybe I shouldn't have thought that. Okay, let's get this quick. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to repair that with uh, when they oh, they stick their head in like they do. Okay, come on, see if we can get a repair off. Come on, get it up, get it up. The stupid spiders, man. It's such a pain in the ass. I can't get it fully repaired. See, the duckbill mod is just really handy right now. This is kind of 
a little bit precarious right now. Let's get this repaired really quick. Okay, let's hit that again. Let's get this reloaded. And let's do an explosive. Oh man, this is crazy. Repaired quick, 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 quick. There we go, fully repaired. Nice. Go away. Okay. Whew. Crazy. We kill the horde? I think we did, guys. I think we did it. Wow, they <laughs> we have we have got if we're gonna do this again on on uh, the next horde night 35, we have got to get these upgraded to steel. Um, I was a little bit concerned there for a while, a little bit concerned. But I mean, you know, we always have the option of pulling the the hatch out, you know, from under him. That's not something I would want to do real early in the Horde Night, because then they're going to start tearing on the building, but... Oh, man. Okay, we did it. We did it. How many levels did we get? We got two levels and almost the next one. So, um... Yeah, I don't... I, I didn't check to see how high my XP was before we started. So, I'm not sure how much it was. So, I, I kind of thought we would get another level, but... Uh, uh, you know, another level, but we didn't. But we're close, though. I mean, you know, we're, we're quite a ways... Uh, a, quite a ways to the next level. So let's go to uh, agility and um, put that point in there and then put that point in there. I want my pistol to be a little stronger. And then, you know, then we're going to switch back to perception and get this up to three with our next point so that I can increase dead eye, um, salvage, and lucky, um, and demolitions. Okay, wow. So overall, the base is still working really good. But like I said, I mean, we're, we've got to get these upgraded to steel um, be before 35. So I think we will try it again on 35. And, you know, the junk turret was very, very helpful too. So, all right, let's go. Let's go loot, see what we got here. Look at Look at the bags. Oh, man, this is crazy. All right, you know what we're going to do? Um, let's put a temporary... <coughs> Cut it out. <laughs> a temporary storage chest down. Just so we can kind of get it all. So we'll just, I don't know, set it up there, I guess. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got. Scrap doodle. Uh, I'm going to scrap those, but we will take these. There's some steel. Nice. What do we have here? Do 10% more damage against coyotes, okay? Oh, there we go. There we go, okay. Um, an incentive for sure to, to maybe get handguns up a little higher now. Okay, that's it. That is it for the loot. So let's look at this stuff again. We got um, 
that's a pretty nice little little haul. Um, some of that I already had in my inventory, of course, but um, we found the SMG schematic. And right now, if we made it, we could only make a, an orange one. Oh, no, a yellow one. Hmm. Require 24 steel. We could just go do some lampposts again for that. That's tempting. Um, let me think about that. Let me think about that a little bit more before we make any rash decisions. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, take all this in. And there really isn't enough time, guys, for us to do anything else. Um, so... I'm going to go ahead and just repair everything here and then um, put all this stuff away. And then after that, um, tomorrow will be another day, of course, and we'll figure out what the next thing that we're going to do. So, yeah, sorry about the shorter episode, but sometimes it just doesn't make sense to continue, you know. So that's uh, this is one of those times. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and that short but pretty intense Horde Night. I was a little worried there for a while because they were, you know, it was very hard for me to to get the the hatches repaired because i think it was because the spiders and the dogs in particular were glitching through and the hammer couldn't get like onto the to the uh hatch itself so you know that was a little bit concerning i'll tell you what though you know the duck bill mod on the shotgun was just perfect for that corridor and really just shredded those guys uh so it worked very very well uh but anyway that's it for now, and we will see you in the next episode where we'll go off and do whatever our next adventure is going to be. Oh, you know what I think that's going to be since we found that gas gas can schematic? I think we're going to go on a road trip and see if we can find the desert. And we're probably going to go to the north to do that because I've been a fair decent way to the west, and we found the burn biome. We found the snow in the east and in the south. Well, actually, no, I guess the snow is in the east, so we could either go south or north. We have a fetch and clear, so maybe what we'll do is we'll go do this, and then we'll just continue on north and see if we can figure out what the next biome is. So that's the tentative plan for the next episode. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.